All right, Chad, the 0.5 anniversary has begun, and we have our Lancelot, okay? The goat, the myth, the legend, that one guy that looked really OP in the one clip of the, uh, the anime that I saw, I guess. So this is going to be the voted banner that we collectively as a community decided was the best option. So we've got three UR units, a couple festivals, and then a hodgepodge of uh, the SSRs. So we've got lots, uh, lots of options. Um, the 900 is a full UR selector, so that's pretty dope. You get to pick and choose. Hopefully, obviously, we get a, lots of lances, and uh, pretty much every UR except Chaos Arthur on the way. So let's knock out the, let's break the ice, see what we got. And uh, we're going to talk about our skills as we do. And the first multi, I'm going to skip. I flash. Oh, oh, Blue Roxy, not bad. Okay, so... Passive. Heroic qualities. Ooh. Applies inside on the hero at the start of battle for three turns. The hero's max HP increases by 8% for each ally participating in battle. When an applicable ally uses a single target attack... Ooh, king? We need that dupe. Uses single target attack skills and deals damage. The mark of insight is applied for three turns to a maximum of one enemy. Lost main. In addition, each time an applicable ally deals damage to an enemy afflicted, afflicted with a mark of insight during the ally's turn, the hero gains one piercing arrow at the start of the ally's turn. The hero's attack rate stats increase by 5% for each attack type skill the enemy has. Okay, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what I just read, because I was looking back and forth between the summons. Um, the applicable allies are the humans, fairies, and four knights of the apocalypse. Okay, we're going to introduce that tag. Insight is applicable allies. Damage taken is minus 30%. We got an SSR for in. And then uh, human allies defense related stats plus 15% for each one participating in battle. Fairy allies basic stats plus 5% for each one participating in battle. Interesting. What do we got? Uh, hell, okay. I think that was the last hell dupe I needed. Mark of Insight is minus 50% on crit defense. Piercing arrow is plus 100% pierce. And then all removed when dealing damage with all target attacks other than the ultimate. Okay. Basically, let's see. I don't know. Basically, when somebody attacks, uh, they get the mark. And, uh, ah, sounds good. Sounds pretty good. I think the real difference here is, uh, is he good for humans or is he going to be good for fairies? Right, so basic stats plus 5 or defense plus 15. Well, that's a bigger number for humans. But, uh, you know, that's not necessarily the deciding factor there, though. He is going to be the first true human fairy. Like, both races are active at all times, not just this unit also counts as a, a demon or whatever they did for Sigurd and Gelda. Uh, and then he has a talent. Okay, so this is a new mechanic. Reveals the enemy's skills on the ally's turn the talent is used. Removes debuffs for the hero equal to the number of enemies participating in battle. Interesting. So that, I don't think is going to scale with any kind of ult levels. That is just a flat out, I'm guessing, like second passive? Because it has the passive icons as well. Interesting. So, rough play. Oh, lost. Oh! We haven't seen Escanor in a minute. Big fan of that. Um, single target impact. Triple pierce ignores resistance. AoE penetration. Oh. Plus 50% of attack. And increases damage dealt by half of pierce. Okay. So he's heavily on that whole pierce rate. Um, um... I wonder if some kind of mix of pierce rolls are going to be relevant for him. May or may not be. But I guess we'll see based on this ult. Increases the hero's attack related stats by 50% for 3 turns. The hero gains 3 piercing arrows, then inflicts impact damage to all enemies. I think this is Lance because it's uh, Escanor, right? Is Escanor the Lance, Lance animation? It is. Very cool. We got him nice and early. Big fan of that. Did we get anybody else in that? No. Okay. So the UR, or the featured UR animation is for Escanor. Got it. So while the hero is participating in battle, 
Enemies afflicted with the Mark of Insight have their damage dealt decreased by 20%, and the hero uses an all-target attack. Other than the ultimate, additional damage is equal to 100% of the damage dealt. Two enemies afflicted with the Mark of Insight. That's pretty good. Uh, pierce Arrow again, which is that extra pierce rate, and then Impact, which is the same as a single target, and Mark of Insight is the same. Now, how crazy of an ult scaler are we? Attack... 50% per level. Enemies damage dealt decreased. Okay, so that only kicks in at level 3. So my guy kind of wants to be at least level 3. And then additional damage dealt equal to N% percent of the damage dealt. Right. Um, that's got a fine 10%-ish uh, 10 type scaling. Red Roxy, uh, good for the link. Don't need it, but nice to have. I think she is also 6-6 six, six for me. But that, uh, that's fine. So, we also have another unit out. We'll take a look at that, which is Retired Knight Varghese? Varghese? Grandpa. Um, I think he's a PvP unit, yeah. Fight Festival Season 19. So, he's probably going to be dog shit. But... He's a trophy unit, right? So we'll see what he does, I guess. Uh, when participating in a battle with an applicable ally, the hero and the applicable ally's defense related stats increase by 30%. The applicable ally is literally just Percival. Okay. Uh, single target spike, which is double crit damage. Uh, and then he inflicts damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy, decreases skill ranks, and depletes ults by the number of skills that have their ranks decreased. Surprised it doesn't have a name yet. And then his ult uh, looks like a Halberm ult. Cancels buffs and stances and then stuns. Oh, I don't think Halberm stuns. And that was like four knockbacks in a row. I'm not a fan of whatever the heck is going on there. Okay, so that is... Um, that's the banner. Not the banner. That's his skills. Eska? Oh, I know Eska. So in terms of teams, what are we thinking, chat? What are we thinking, right? So the human options right now obviously everybody voted in Arthur is Arthur going to be relevant on the Lancelot human team hard to say uh, obviously it's really early right now but I think people have already had him on JP for a couple of hours Ooh. hello I did not know that animation was coming out is this I'm guessing this is just a UR Animations all the way in the back. It is. We got an Eska. That's a very, very important dude. Especially since he has a grace. Big fan of that. Um, what was I saying? What's this human team look like? Ooh, another SSR. I think, uh, I think a popular one is Eska, Light Percy, Lance, and Sigurd. Right? Don't have Sigurd, Regena. Then have Light Percy, Old Percy, maybe. Uh, if you don't have Eska, maybe Arthur goes there. And then obviously Lance is the guy there. And then the fairy team is, what, double LR? LR King, LR Box, and then Lance. And then... Who was their back line? What did fairies run again? Dang. Let me think. Um... I don't know. Was it a CC unit? Oh, we got King, Valentine's King again. Pretty good unit for Guild Wars, right? I think we did a showcase with Super Awakening Coin on him. Not a big deal. Pretty dope. Uh, we do have a good amount of gems, so... Oh, no, Eska. Is this God Melee again? We got stars in the sky. We got a good amount of gems. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to at least do two rotations. I do want to get him 3-6. I'd like to get as many Eskinors as well. Um, and Sav as well, because she's a unity. Those are really important to get. Um, and then... Oh, it's all the way in the back. Oh, what the f... This king is obsessed with me. Anyways. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I forgot my train of thought. I'm not watching a broken sword. We got a couple of rotations to do. Okay, but the, my, what my point was is it can't go too hard, right? Because we know how the end of the year works, right? It's back-to-backs. Dang it! <laughs> no sun in the sky! 
It's back-to-back -back festival. We have point five Annie followed by New Year's. New Year's may or may not be a melee because it's kind of a trend to be a melee. Last year was Demon King. Before that was Purgatory. Before that was Traitor. Before that was Assault Mode. So, good chance it's a really overpowered melee. And obviously everyone's going to want to see that guy in action. So we don't want to blow... Ooh! Uh, that is probably the sexiest animation that they've got. We don't want to blow absolutely everything on Lance. Um, probably do one or two. And then see how he plays out. And then decide from there. Maybe the masses does one. Save some gems for cosmetic sales. Ugh. Is the one that I don't need. Dang it. And I don't think there's a coin exchange for the other dupes. I think there's just a a normal master coin shop. That's Lost Vein, but I don't want to see it. Eh, it's Roxy. Meh. I kind of only want to watch the UR animations. Okay. I'm getting sick of that fucking king. I'm pretty sure he's 6'6 six, six now, by the way. Great. Um, No sun in the sky. Meh. We might need to speed it up if I do end up... I'll probably do two. Two rotations here for the video. We're at ten minutes sitting there looking back and forth between his screen, reading his abilities, and looking at these other skills, so... We definitely, uh, we'll definitely speed that up. How are we looking so far? It's not bad. We've had a good amount of SSRs, I think. An obnoxious amount of Valentine's King. Which I think that's the Valentine's King. Or was it just a Valentine's Day? Yeah. Whatever. Green King. Uh, that's a we're hitting a dry patch there. Um, I wonder if Lance is going to be the goat enough to bring fairies back in action. Uh, that'd be good for them. The LRD just dropped last patch, and that just kind of boosted the Milim team even more. Because it seems like people are running her with Milim, Gother, and Camilla. And then, surprisingly, there's a, 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 a Sins variant with Eska, Deanne, uh, Gother, and Merlin. Which feels wrong, because there's no Melly. And like, yeah... Oh, a double. Uh, really far away, though. Mile and Tear. Don't need either. Very old units. Good for you for being a festival, but not needed. Okay. Skip. Another Mile. Great. On average, the summons are good. For me, not so much. I also think there is a um, variant of DN on a fairy comp, right? Because LR King likes fairies and giants. So it's LR King, DN, I think Green Elaine. And I still don't know who that backline is. I swear they don't have a backline. I think it's just. A CC unit. Who is the fairy backline? A Helbrum, I guess? But that is just... There is no good Helbrum for your CC at all. So that would be... You're going second every time there. Even with double LR. Probably not worth to take that anymore. Um, patch before that, right? We had Sigurd. Sigurd is surprisingly decent. Yes! Did I... Was there a Escanor? Or did I just skip it all? I actually have no idea. But we have 2-6, which means with the selector we have 3-6, which is exactly where he wants to be. Um, like I said, I think we will do the second rotation. We'll probably just like go through that fast. Like, fast as fuck. Because um, it's a lot, right? Any extras we get is big. I think... So here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I only care about getting him 3-6. I find the Escanor dupes more important as a grace. You're going to call me crazy for this, right? But he's guaranteed 3-6 on this next rotation. But Eska grace is goaded. Or should I get Sob grace? Because he doesn't scale that much past 3-6. Oh my god, I definitely want to do one of these two. I think I'll stick with... I think I'll do Escanor. I'll do Escanor. Okay. Also, theoretically, right, Lance is a rate up right now. So I should see him more throughout the summons. Okay? So we're, we're banking on probability working in our favor here. 
Um, red text and nothing. Now this is <laughs> traditionally where the decline happens. We're going to see how terrible the second rotation may or may not become. So far we're 90 in and that's been terrible. Okay. And you know what? I haven't seen any... The, the SSR dupes have been, like, not very... Uh... Oh, there's a new one. I haven't been very spread out. It's few and far between. I've seen a lot of Roxy. We've seen a lot of King. Oh. And very few uh, Myels. And then, like, a tier, I think. No Gelda. She eludes us. Still 1-6. Uh, Summer Merlin, Red Chandler, Bushin. Actually, I don't think I need Bushin. Uh, the Blue Valenti, Blue Scotty, you know, the actual dupes that we could really benefit from. They don't want to come home. Uh, especially that Gelda, dude. I don't, I, I don't even main Gelda, but like... The girl is so Oh! Yo! What the... That's another Escanor dupe. I just... Probability. What a, I just got done talking about that. Whatever. What's that put him? Um, four maybe. He might be four six. Whatever. Pretty good. And we got a Gelda. That. That's pretty W. Two six. Not doing much, but we have it. I've, we've we know the dupes are real, because up until then I I couldn't tell you if it was possible to pull her, aside from her debut. You really couldn't. I, I would like to start seeing some Sadnock, right? That would be pretty cool. We haven't seen her. We finished off Hell. Demon King is still 3-6 after, what, two years now? A year and a half, maybe? Uh, ooh, yeah, we're hitting a fat Dry Spell. That never feels good. Dry Spells of any kind never feel good. Are there any other dupes we're missing? Elaine... That might be it. Oh, and Zebula. Zebula. We don't. We've got like none of him. Oh my God! It's that Roxy again, dude. Wait, she might have popped up as many times as that Green King has. And we got one of that Valentine's Day in. That's it. Okay, we need the we need the luck to flip here. So yeah, that's looking sour. Let me back out of this. All right, this is the secret they don't tell you about. You have to go all the way out, serve ale to these guys. Okay, because these are your homies. These are your good luck charms. Your day one's right there. And you're going to go back in. You're going to do your summons back on a lance. What do you got for me, buddy? What did I just fucking tell you? What did I just flip and tell you guys? We got the sun in the sky. We got the red text. Demon mark full counter. This is at least two units, okay? One's Lance, another one, I don't know. Call it a family multi, we get Bon and Elaine in it. That would be nuts. Okay, this is the probability kicking in, right? We're, we're balanced out now. I really wish there was enough space to be able to just max all of the graces here. We can't... Oh, it's only one. It's at the beginning, too. Unless we get a fake out. Yep, your boy. Alright, 3-6. Cool, 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 cool. I might not even pick him. He could have been... He could be 4, 5, 6, technically, if I picked him. I just don't think I need to 6-6 six, six him. I, I have the uh, obsessive compulsion to want to do it. But then we'd be missing dupes on Eska, and it's like a human team running both. Yeah, we're, we're balancing them out. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I, I do think Eska dupes are probably just a little more important. So you, you will use that Eska grace everywhere. Lance is looking like a PvP. At least for the most part. PvP only? Nothing s really says or screams PvP only. Oh my god, more rocks, eh? Um, But it definitely doesn't give me any kind of hope for PvE. Right, that's 
pretty clearly a PvP kit. That's no, fine. Dupes are good for that if you not if you gotta go first, I guess. Whatever. Aska? Nope. Oh! Now that's a rare dupe for us. That is a man that did not hit the general standard pool until like a year later. Absolutely unheard of. Alright, I think though at this, at the 900 selector here, we'll pick Lance. And then I think we'll have like an even split between our Lance. Oh! My god. Alright. Now I'm regretting picking Eskinor because Lance would be 6-6. Six, six. I'm gonna skip it. We know what it is. What? It was... What? It wasn't the real Eskinor. It was not Eternal Eska, bro. What the fuck? Fuck my L. I don't care about Elaine either. Okay, now I take back feeling bad. Dude. Fuck off, King. There's no way the rate is real. He is my actual rated up unit. It is not Lancelot. That is fucking insane. That's gotta be... If I didn't already own him, 6-6 six, six right off that. That's that's crazy. I hate King now. He just gets in the way. Oh, this is a try spell again. Do we have to back out and serve more ale? You can only do it once. We're fucked. We're cooked. Oh, this is a fat dry spell. Get this stick out of here. Come on. Alright, let's back out again. We pick Lance. What does that put him at? 4-6? Or 5-6? I think it's... It's 4-6, because if I had pulled him there, it would have been a 5, then Selector at 6, yeah. Dude! This is not real! I keep getting Roxy, and I keep getting King. There is no fucking shot. Okay, I, there's a coin shot button, right? I'm gonna click this. I'm freaking out. It takes you straight there. Where is where is this shit? Look at this. Three red Roxy, four blue Roxy, five green King. He's six six off this alone. Absolutely insane, dude. That's so unnecessary. That marble, we don't need it. Oh, another sun in the sky. I guess I should watch it see if it's the real or fake fucking. Eskinor animation. Bro, I regret. Ah, don't let this be Lance again. I'm gonna want him 6-6. Six, six. Do we do the third rotation? I kinda want to. That's kinda bad. I can 6-6 six, six Lance and then just spam pick Eskinor. I say spam pick, I get one pick. Okay, eternal. Okay. There he is. Jesus. Fucking baiting me, man. I don't want to go broke, though. Lost man. Ugh. If only... Ugh, tell me Lance is exchangeable. I know he's not. I don't think he is. Yo, sneak in one more dupe for me? Oh, that'd be so crazy. Then I didn't look like I'm not a complete idiot with that Eska pick. It's not a bad choice, I'm telling you. At least for me, okay? For me, it's not a terrible idea. Dang it. That would have been cool though, right? Alright, we're gonna cool it we're gonna cool it here because it's like twenty-five minutes in. We're gonna grab him. That puts him at five. I think. Let me check. And then Eska at like Oh four. Yeah, it puts him at five, and then he's at four, I think. Okay, that's really good. Okay, that's really good for two rotations. I could do a third, and I think if I did a third, I would have the luck to max them both. I'm not going to do it right now. I guess that's a long video, so if you guys like to drop a thumb, maybe subscribe to that, and I'll see you in the next one.